check out that hatch. Okay. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Eight, six, seven. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Nine. Eight. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Nine. Eight. Seven. The lock was the only thing holding the door on. Confirm it! What's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. Uh, a belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest Rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be Rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for Rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the Rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Mr. Big! Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I do the job for free if you brought me the materials. What kind of materials will we need to bring you for a belt buckle? Well, have a look at these blueprints. If you brought me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle-making equipment. That seems simple enough. Well, the part where I actually make the buckle requires years of training and lots of expensive tools. But you wouldn't have to worry about that. I 
guess whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. Are you finished using your screwdriver yet? No, not until we've made a proper square dance floor. It's a picture of a hogfish rustler. I really like those hats. Hmm, a purple 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with it. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my. I traded away my monica. Another purple sea urchin! This should be useful. How did you do that? That's my special secret. We should probably only take one piece. So I'll put Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> well, hi, kids. Hello. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. It's a screwdriver.